Now, hopefully, shortly after you getting your license, one of your friends, family, and neighbors says, oh my God, I'm so glad you got a license. I'm ready to sell my house. So how are you going to be able to sell their house? Well, hopefully, you're going to negotiate your first real agreement, which is a listing agreement. Listing agreement. So we need to know who the parties are in a listing agreement, in a listing. First off, it's important to know that your broker is technically the one that's in contract with the client. So the broker and the seller agree. Now you're doing all the work. The truth is your broker is never even going to meet this person. You're, you're doing it. But you're signing everything on behalf of the broker. But technically that agreement between the broker and the seller, which at this point we call the principal. So on the state exam, they may ask a question that says, hey, a salesperson secures a 90-day listing agreement with a client. During those 90 days, they leave that office and go to another office. Who owns the listing? The original broker does. Because technically that contract is between the broker and the seller, not the salesperson. Not the salesperson. Okay? And while we're at it, this is a contract for employment as well. In fact, if we were to have a listing agreement in front of us, it would say, the seller hereby employs and grants Armando Oliva the exclusive right to sell XYZ property for 6% commission or whatever they're going to pay me. So let's understand that. The listing agreement between a broker, seller, principal.